was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Indianapolis Colts and the Miami Dolphins. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in Week 16. He was looking for Dante Moncrief that time. And that'll bring up second down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Three and out, a real danger here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 12. Out of the gun, Luck. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Now the offense lining up first and ten. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Following the penalty, it's Peterson. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. A gain of three, second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. On second down, here's Locke. Going for Hilton, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Tannehill. It's complete to Parker, left side. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Following the flag, first and 20 now. Stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And that'll make this a second down. Really tough drive, but that run helped salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. They got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receivers trying to get involved, a good run by the back. And now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at 
going forward, watching it on tape, maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. So here we go, a third down after the second down pass completion. Back to throw, Tannehill. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Play fake here on first down. He's going to let one go deep. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the five-yard line. And now the offense operates in the red zone. To the air again, Tannehill. And Stills has got it. Touchdown, Miami. Kenny Stills, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are going to take a first quarter lead. And that makes it 7 0 Dolphins. Bunker now to kick this one away. This will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. A shotgun snap for Long. And his throw here is incomplete. T.Y. Hilton, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Back to the air. Lock on second down. Caught left side by Hilton. Touchdown, Indianapolis. T.Y. Hilton, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make so they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position. And I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league. But the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a runner early. But if there's that special one there, I say they go get him. Thank you. 
Tannehill now to give to Ajayi. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Here's Tannehill now on second down. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Henry Anderson in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. So after the sack of Tannehill, the Dolphins come up here on a third and long. Lock, lock them. Deep, deep, deep. Four down, four down. Check. Four down, four down. Play fake to Ajayi. It's Tannehill. Looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Vontae Davis. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Well, it's third and long and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. And a great spot to start this drive from here. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. <laughs> to throw on second down is long. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. And Dominican Sue in there to drop him for his 11th sack of the year. Luck and the Colts looking for something big here after the sack. This is third and long. From the gun, here's Love. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. David Irving in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. The Colts send out their punter. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. Back with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Colts in possession of the football to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. The Colts send out their punter. Back deep, Jakeem Grant. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Here's a handoff to Ajayi to begin the drive. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Every year I go to the combine to marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this will be caught at the 30. It's a big play there for Miami. 51 yards. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know there's a quarterback in this league that's any good that doesn't throw an interception occasionally, and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five, and still find a way to win the game in the end. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. From the red zone now, Tannehill. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll be out of bounds. That 
That's 30 yards now in the last two plays. Back-to-back 15-yarders, -back and they're rolling. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll toss it to Ajayi. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? scrimmage call it no gain that time and now it's third and goal two straight shots on the ground now on third do you go to the air I think the possibility exists and if you're doing it you're probably going play action since you ran it twice but I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory Third and two, Tannehill. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. Butker now to add the extra point. And it's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. Butker now to kick this one away. O-line. And he's got Rome. That's spinning now. And now look at him go. And it'll be an excellent return as he's all the way down inside the 25-yard line. But when the highlight is shown of this play, all attention is going to be on the person running with the football. But how about the group as a whole setting up that big-time return? Yardage that we won't even account for in the box score may help them win the game. Here's Locke. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that'll bring up second down. To throw his luck. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Now the fourth-year man from Texas A&M, Kristen Michael. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Now Luck steps away to his left. He may try fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this is going to get out of bounds through the end zone. And that will go as a turnover as the defense will get it at the 20-yard line. Let's go. 
They'll begin the drive with a Jai. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. To throw on second down is Tannehill. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Dolphins on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Here's Tannehill. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. They run with Ajayi, trying to run inside, but nothing there. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. He'll rifle this one deep right. This is caught inside the 15. And he is out of bounds just a yard or two shy of the 10. That goes for a gain of 31. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's... And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. Butker on for the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to Butker now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. The 30, the 20, touchdown Indianapolis. Adrian Peterson, 77 yards. And the Colts strike quickly here for six points. Well called, well blocked, and then he just made a great play. That was an athlete going a long way. Yeah, how about the suddenness, too, just getting there and taking off and going for the defensive guys? Plays like that really hurt. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? And this will get out of bounds. No worries there, though. That still goes as a touchback. The Dolphins' offense now working their way back onto the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Now Tannehill. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. 
The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. The Dolphins on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. To throw is Tannehill. And it's caught by Parker. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Tannehill with a hook up to Parker for the Dolphin first. This is a Jai. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 36. <laughs> and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. An update from Buffalo. The Jets have taken the early lead over the Bills. I have a feeling that one's going to stay tight throughout. We'll continue to monitor. So they're still down, but they are able to salvage three here heading into the lockers. This is what you worked on from the beginning of training camp. Heading into the half, put some points on the board. No matter what the score says at that point, you've accomplished what you set out to do. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. time here in this half it's intercepted he's picked off at his own 47 so the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top as we check in with Larry Ridley in Orlando he's standing by with our EA Sports halftime report Larry fielded about a yard deep and he'll be brought down at the 23 make it the 24 yard line out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Here's Tannehill. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Jonathan Hankins able to drop him for a loss of four. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DN. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On second down, here's Tannehill. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Give him two yards on that play. And it'll be a third and about 13. Go, go, go. 
Tannehill now to throw. Muscling free near the 40. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out if that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. Second down, Peterson. And he'll push his way forward to a bit third and two situation. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. So we've got a second and five. Here's Luck. He's got it to Hilton. Just passed him at the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions, even when you're taking some hits. Sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term got to make completion step up and make those throws and he did that two yards on the carry there it'll be second down but that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive and once again they show passing formation showing the shotgun then they ran out of it that's a nice play by them defensively though to hold it to a short game and here comes play number six on this drive Again with Peterson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be third and ten. a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, this from 53. And this one is no good. He missed it. 
Elsewhere, second half is underway up in Orchard Park. The Jets now up over the Bills. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll start the drive at the 43. They'll start out on the ground with a J. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. Here's Tannehill. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. A good pick up there, 26 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Now it's a giant. Finding room to the 20. And he'll be knocked down sideways. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Butker now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Here's Luck. And the reception made by Dante Moncrief. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. They make so many catches that are so tough, so acrobatic, so difficult, that often surprises me when they actually turn the ball over. You know, when the ball actually comes free. It's amazing sometimes because of what we see them do on so many different plays. Had the catch, but couldn't control it on the contact. Fumble recovery, Tannehill. He's going to launch this thing way down. And this is caught. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Derek Carrier, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins take advantage of the turnover and put up six. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. now to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. You like that, don't you? All game long, 
They've struggled moving the ball, turning it symptomatic. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Give him three on the play, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Long. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And to the 43, so down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. here on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Jonathan Hankins in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Back to throw. Tannehill going deep here for Parker. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and forever. the gun Tannehill and incomplete the contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down an absolutely zero surprise that that one was incomplete huh I mean was, truthfully how many OC's have we seen with third and 20 on their play she can go oh I've got the exact play to dial up now that's just a, a head scratching down <laughs> when you're facing a third and 20 tried to complete it couldn't get it done He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. They juked him. Give him 11 yards that time on the return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. The gain of 39 that time. As far as I'm concerned, Andrew Luck can do it all. I mean, he's an underrated runner, toughness in the pocket, strong and stout. But let's face it, the money, that comes from his arm. And smart, valedictorian of his high school class in Houston. Then he goes to Stanford. He's got it all. second down and this one is incomplete he was trying to hit Thomas that time and it'll bring up third down this defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield and look it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone eventually that becomes man on man and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football Throwing on third down, Luck. Trying for right, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. And that one 
will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. And his kick is good. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last, that didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. Fresh off the pick six, it's locked. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Cameron Wake in there for the sack, and he's closing in on that all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. The throw on second down is locked. And the catch made by Hilton. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. The Colts on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. Now it's locked. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Here's Locke. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. David Irving in there to get him. And that is sack number 15 for him on the year. Back to throw. Locke complete to Hilton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Luck on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Cameron Wake in there for the 20th time this year as he continues what could be a record-setting season. And here comes play number six on this drive. Here's Luck now on second down. And he's going to go down again. Raekwon McMillan in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. Third and long. It's Luck. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. Just two yards to go here on second down for the offense. A shotgun snap for Luck. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. From the red zone now, Locke. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. 
That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. This is turning into a bit of a death march here, the 13th play of this drive. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Time for Locke on fourth down. And he's got it. He's going to be stopped shy of the end zone. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the Dolphins celebrate their goal line stand. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. And he's going to go down for a fourth time today. And this time the result is a safety. So they go with the empty set, and that's the risk you run right there. Nobody was there to protect. Well, you know how most offenses have audibles and they've changed plays when they see certain sets? A lot of defenses do the exact same thing. You go to an empty back set, they bring pressure. And boy, did it pay off in this case. this only up to about the 35. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win. And he lost the football. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Here's a Ajayi. Room here to run. 20. A big play on the ground there. It goes for 36 yards. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They run again with a giant. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. And they'll go with the there. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. And now here's a carry heading left. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Jay and Jay hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Dolphins just continue to pour it on. And the lead is now an even 30.
Walker now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know, You just one last drive here for Pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Now luck. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. And Dominican Sue in there to get him, and that's sack number 12 for him on the year. Luck and the Colts looking for something big here after the sack. This is third and long. Throwing his lock. <laughs> and they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. It'll be a gain of nine, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. <laughs> Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Being chased out left. He can run for it, and he will. It'll be a gain of 17 and an Indianapolis first down. How about that scramble by Andrew Luck? Sometimes we forget just how big, strong, and yes, fast Andrew Luck is. When he came out of college at the Combine, shocked everyone, ran a sub-4, 840. And he grew up a big soccer guy over in Europe, so he knows how to use his feet. That he does, and I think it's helped his legs along the way as well. Now Luck, got a man over the middle, it's Williams. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. So here we go, first and 10 now. They'll fake it. Now Lop. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Second and ten, luck again. He's going to let it fly. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by. And these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but they're... And this is caught inside the five. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Kendall Wright, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Colts are able to cut into this lead. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. One last throw here for Luck. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. A big offensive explosion.